Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on the weighing scale method. This will be an uh, introduction. So the weighing scale method, when can it help? It can help, for example, uh, help solve problems and achieve goals. Clearly show what needs to be done right now, no matter what one wants to achieve. It can facilitate difficult decisions. It can improve communication, reduce misunderstandings and resolve conflicts clearly demonstrate why one is doing what one is doing. Uh, it can increase control, for example, to quit a bad habit, uh, assist in raising children, for example, uh, to get them to eat uh, healthier or stop smoking. It can influence or change other people's opinions, increase sales, or even uh, train your pet to obey. What is the weighing scale method then? Uh, in the method, it is assumed that for every situation, every decision can be translated into a weighing scale setup, like this, every situation. Uh, and the side that weighs the most is the decision that will be made. And I uh, will show all this uh, very clearly in a second. Uh, the method also assumes that the weighing scale is always right. In the method, it is also assumed that the weighing scale is always right, no exceptions. For example, if you are not doing your homework, assume that there is more weight on the not doing homework side of the scale. If you are not exercising, assume that there is more weight on the not exercising side of the scale. And if you are not eating the vegetables, assume that there is more weight on the not eating the vegetable side of the scale. And I will show an example right here. Here we have, uh, should I buy cake or not? The no side and the yes side here. And we have two arguments on the left. Uh, it costs $10 and it is unhealthy. And on the right side it is uh, tastes good. So that would be benefit and the uh, drawbacks. And in this case we can clearly see that uh, the, the drawbacks is uh, weighing more than uh, the benefits. So in this case, I uh, would not buy the cake. So to just quickly mention, uh, reality is complicated, but we simplify it. Uh, the process of making decisions in the brain is a very complex process, but it can be simplified by using the weighing scale method. And uh, I, as I was uh, saying a bit before, uh, in the method it is assumed that it can be done for all situations and that it was always right, and I will explain further. Uh, if the choice in the weight scale setup is different from the choice made in reality, then one should assume that the weights and arguments were not complete for that particular moment when the choice was made. There is a lack of arguments or weight in the weight scale. Uh, so for example, at home, the decision is made not to buy the cake, Therefore, the not buying the cake weight scale has more weight. But then at the store, the cake is still bought. Uh, these are two different choice situations, and therefore two different weight scale setups can be made. One at home and one at the store. Uh, at the store, more weight was given to the buy the cake weight scale. So what weight uh, made the scale tip to the buy the cake side? And we, will ca we can take a look at that. So we can take a look again at this scale. Uh, should I buy the cake? Uh, we can add another scale. First we have this one uh, with the perspective from home. And uh, this time we can add another. It's the exact same here. Both are identical, but uh, this time at the store we still bought the cake. What happened? We still bought it, so it was something that made it to the yes side way the most. For some reason, uh, this side weighs the most. What happened? What can it be? Uh, so maybe it was because I was so hungry, plus I uh, went past the cakes and uh, the cravings kicked in. So maybe that's what happened why I bought, still bought the cake. And as we can see, the feeling was really strong. Very high weight here, which made us buy the cake. And uh, which perspective one takes is very important. The weight scale setup is personal. Uh, depending on the perspective you take, the weights for the arguments will have very different importance. 
So for example, for a wealthy person, $10 may not weigh much, but for a poor person, $10 can weigh a lot, meaning that the person values $10 very much. And I will also demonstrate this. So here we have uh, two perspectives, uh, one from a poor person and uh, one from a rich person. And the question is the same, work for one hour for $10. And if you take a look at the rich person, the drawbacks is hard work plus time. It's, uh, it's, it weighs quite much. Uh, but he still gets some benefits. Uh, he still gets the $10. But as we can see here in his perspective, the weight is uh, very low. Uh, we can then take a look at uh, the poor person. It's the same question, same. It's hard work plus time. But in his perspective, $10 is uh, worth a lot. You can see it weighs 90 in his case, which uh, made it so, yes, he would uh, work one hour for $10 in this example. Uh, you can take any perspective that you want. It doesn't have even have to be a person. It can be an animal, a group of people, or even a robot, AI, or an object. Uh, this way of thinking can be used to achieve the desired outcome. Uh, if one sees all choices according to this way of thinking, the weighing scale method, one can use it to more easily change the choices and instead get the desired one. What one does is to change the weights in the scales to get the weighting towards the choice one wants to occur. Uh, we can do this by adding or removing arguments, changing the weighting of the arguments, or maximizing uh, benefits, minimizing the drawbacks. Uh, the arguments must be true and real to you though. Uh, setting up the arguments can make it easier to identify what's stopping one from performing the desired choice and thus easier to fix it. And I will show with an example again. Uh, so we can take uh, this example again, should I buy cake or not? And if we take a look at this, how could we change the weighting so it tips to the no side again? And uh, if I take a look at this, I can see maybe perhaps if I wasn't so hungry, I wouldn't have bought it. And uh, maybe if I also didn't, didn't go past the cakes, I wouldn't have seen it. So that would be a potential solution I could do. So what we can do is add a uh, little to-do list here. Eat before going to the store. So that uh, this argument no longer has that much weight. Maybe we take away it uh, altogether, perhaps we can avoid going past the cakes so that the scale tips towards the no side again. It's just an example. So the potential of this way of thinking, the weighing scale method. Why do I believe there is such a great potential in this way of thinking? Uh, I think it can be used in many areas uh, with uh, good results. It can be used to influence oneself or one's surroundings to almost whatever one wants. Uh, I put all in the citation because it's not, uh, it's not, it sounds easy, but it's not that easy. But uh, the idea maybe is uh, simple. Uh, all one needs to do is to make the outcome goal weigh the most. And I will uh, explain further. If one does not get the desired choice, keep changing the weights until the desired choice is achieved. I want to sell X, make the customer feel that the buy X side weighs the most. Quit smoking, make the quit smoking side weigh the most. Start exercising, make the exercise side weigh the most. Save money, make the save money weigh the most. And so on. Here is an example, how can I increase uh, sales at my bakery? So maybe tastier flavor or desserts, a more attractive appearance of the desserts, more homey atmosphere, clean and neat, pleasant atmosphere, good service, being happy increases the chance that the customer will want to come back, uh, maybe add some music, and we can see um, it's the pr perspective of the customer, uh, should he buy the dessert, yes or no, and uh, the drawbacks is it costs five dollars, but uh, as we can see, the, the benefits are so huge that he still goes ahead and does it. Again, all that is needed is to make the yes side weigh the most. 
here is an example of uh, how to change someone's choices. Uh, the goal is to reduce traffic in the city. How can we do it? And I will uh, show with the scales again. So here we have another scale set up and the perspective is car drivers and uh, what their question is drive with the car to the city yes or no and on the no side it is uh, it costs gas but not uh, the waiting is not that much uh, but on the benefit side is uh, the person needs to buy some shoes for example and uh, in this case it weighs more so he will go ahead and uh, drive to the city but how could we change this? We could, for example, add an argument and add this congestion tax plus extra time. Uh, maybe this is annoying for the person. It has a weight of 50 perhaps. And uh, right now we can see that uh, we managed to change the person's choice by doing this suddenly the no side weighs the most. This could for some people uh, change their uh, choice of uh, driving uh, the car into the city. Maybe they will uh, go ahead and buy the shoes online instead or something. And I think uh, this uh, way of thinking can benefit both beginners and advanced users. Uh, I believe that this method uh, should work for both beginners and advanced users. I think it could be a great tool for those who want to make larger, more complicated decisions. But I also believe that beginners, even at a young age, can benefit from this way of thinking. Uh, I think you can uh, benefit from this approach right away. You don't have to understand the entire method before you can uh, benefit from it. The good thing with uh, visualizing the choices like this is that it gives your brain an easier time to think of a plan on how to handle different situations. Uh, if you just start putting arguments in the scales, it uh, could help your brain to start thinking about possible solutions and so forth. Like, uh, how can I make the choice or outcome I want to weigh the most? Seeing a picture in front of you, not just in your head, can make the decision clearer. If you want, for example, to have uh, this no side weigh the most, how can I do it? I can look at this and see that, hmm, maybe if I wasn't hungry, then I wouldn't have bought the cake. So when, when I see this visually, it, it's, it's easy for me to think of a solution and I can put it here. Um, I should eat before going to the store, for example, or um, or another idea is to simply don't walk past the cakes, for example, or it's easy when I see this visually, it's easy for my brain to, to come up with ideas. And you don't have to come up with a solution immediately. The good thing is this will be saved, so you can go back and look at it whenever you want to see uh, can I change something here? Can I, uh, can I maybe add arguments on the left or right side here to make the weighting how I want it? And something I highly recommend you to do is to make use of the AI button right here. I will not go over in detail how all this works right now. I will uh, leave that for another video. Uh, but to quickly show, you can get some help with different stuff here. So you can get help with arguments, you can get help with achieve the desired outcome, help with making some options, uh, help making a to-do list, or help with a step-by-step -step guide to reach your goal. So these are some of the options we have right now for the AI, but I will certainly improve this uh, in the future. And in this case, uh, I am, might want uh, to get help with um, how can I reach this goal? This is my desired choice. So, in this case, I can uh, take help with achieve desired outcome. Uh, when you press this uh, button here, you will get a text based on uh, the scale that we had. And you can then paste uh, this text uh, to any uh, large language model. For example, uh, this chat uh, GPT on this website. If you press this, it will open this website for you. Uh, you can just make a free account there. So you can put some uh, information here if you want. It's not necessary. You can put your age and gender, but uh, you don't have to. 
and so in this case it was the left side that I wanted to weigh the most so we uh, we take uh, left side should uh, weigh the most left side and we press this button and we get uh, uh, a text copied to our clipboard and then we can just paste it here Control v to paste and just press enter and uh, the AI will start to generate uh, some good uh, suggestions on uh, how you can reach your desired outcome so this is one response uh, the AI generated for us it will give a suggestion on how to strengthen the existing arguments that uh, are in uh, your favor that you want it will give some uh, additional arguments for the desired outcome and also give some suggestion on how to minimize the existing arguments weights for the undesired outcome so this one for example that we had on the yes side was uh, I was so hungry plus plus I went past the cakes and the cravings kicked in here it gives a suggestion on how we can uh, minimize this weight and it says to minimize the impact of hunger and cravings I can ensure that I have healthy and fulfilling meals before going to the store by satiating my hunger I will be less likely to succumb to impulsive food purchases that was uh, pretty much also my idea too so that's pretty cool you can also if you don't like the response you can uh, regenerate a new response if you, clip, if you press this also what I can quickly mention is that if you have a big project and you have many options and uh, so forth and uh, you have some sub goals too you need to do you can set it up like uh, this with many options and sub goals and so forth uh, but uh, this is for another tutorial so in the summary the weighting scale method assumes that every situation can be translated into a weighing scale setup the side that weighs the most is the decision that will be made assumes the weighing scale is always right and finally the weights will change depending on the perspective this way of thinking can be used in many different ways can be used to achieve goals, facilitate difficult decisions, improve communication, influence yourself or others and so on so if you are interested in buying the program it is available for download at uh, payhip.com slash pathfindershop and I will uh, put a download link in the description below but anyway uh, on this web page you have two options here one free version and uh, one paid and on the free version it's, it doesn't have all the features but if you want to try it out for a bit you can do so right there anyway on uh, the paid one you just press this and you press the buy now button and uh, you will be able to download it and install it you can also check out my other web page if you want here I have uh, some more information about the program so you can read up a little bit more if you like I'll leave a link for this uh, in the description as well if you have any questions you can always mail me or just comment down below and I will try and answer as best as I can I will also do more videos on this in the future so if you want to see those you can subscribe and if you like the video leave a happy thumbs up Thank you for watching.